Hello everyone, I'm Chad Bemis and I'm the instructor for this WAMAP course in elementary statistics. I want to welcome everybody to the course and give you a little idea of how to navigate through WAMAP. I'm currently logged in as a student. Uh, you'll see my name is up here in the corner. When you log in, your name will be there. And you have several options on the top. Um, course messages forums, calendar, gradebook, and logout. Uh, you can always go back home. Home will always take you back to your home page where it lists everything that you're taking. As an instructor, of course, it lists the one that I'm teaching. You can ignore that. Uh, the name of our course is 140, Themis is 146 online, fall 2014. And the general idea would be to start at the top and work your way down. Uh, so notice that in big, bold red, it says start here. So I click on that. Um, we've got several folders. Read this first, syllabus, and so on. Sometimes they will open up as a folder, as this one does. Um, in this case, it's just a single text box. Uh, syllabus is an entire folder, which has so it has subfolders. Uh, other times, if I go back to the the online course, the the original course, I can scroll down and you can see a little black arrow. If you click on that, instead of a folder, it's sort of a drop-down menu. So just keep that in mind that some folders are actual folders that go to a page and some just give you a drop-down menu. Um, anyway, so if I click on uh, read this first, it gives you an idea of a few things that you want to start out doing to get started in the course. I'll let you read that. Um, the syllabus is basically the contract between me, the instructor, and you, the student. Um, read it over carefully, and if you have any major objections, um, you're always welcome to, you know, change to a different instructor. I won't be offended, <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, my contact information, etc., etc. So you'll click on each thing. Sometimes you'll click on something and it'll offer you a file. Sometimes it'll open up a new page. Just sort of play around. Uh, the best way to get to know these types of of websites is to just mess around with it, click on something, see what it does. Um, for example, Gradebook. You go to Gradebook, it gives you a listing of all the available assignments um, currently, uh, how many points they're worth, what's my current grade on each one, and the percentage, the translated percentage grade for each one. Grades in this course are calculated using percentages and um, categories uh, rather than points. So I use um, a weighted grading system. Uh, you can always use these little breadcrumbs to go back to where it is that you wanted to go. So for example, if I click on um, instructor contact information and I wanted to go back to that last menu, I can just click on the last one that it took me to, which now I'm still in the syllabus folder. Now I can click on the course again and it'll take me back to the course. Uh, you'll notice here uh, there will be anywhere from three to six weeks available on this little calendar, which you can individually click by going to calendar and you just see the calendar. Um, each of these little uh, icons, I guess, on each of the calendar days that are listed. If you click on the day, it'll give you a listing. Um, again, some of them directly go to these types of things. Some of them have a little reminder. Uh, for example, um, full syllabus, read this, you will have a syllabus quiz, etc., etc. Some of them are just, you know, a letter or two letters. Again, just to remind you that, hey, there's some stuff due on this particular day. Or if you go, um, if I look at a larger number of weeks, take down all the way to the end of the term, um, there's some other ones in blue. Hello, remember the project is due by today. So just keep looking at that calendar. Uh, you'll notice that some things will be changing. I might have to add a few things, subtract a few things, move a few things. So just keep an eye on that calendar. Okay. Uh, one of the big ones also is I don't want you to, I do want you to use the calendar, but I don't want you to just use the calendar. Um, you'll notice that there's many lovely folders, drop-down folders, assignments, 
ex explanations, discussions, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Uh, so again, play around, work from the top down, just keep clicking on stuff. And uh, if you have any confusions, any concerns, any of that stuff, just message me. How do you message me? Okay, go to messages, send new message, and send it to, um, well, it says Bemis Chad and Bemis Chad. One of those is the instructor, and the other one is the, the ghost account that I'm using right now. But I'll delete this ghost account so it'll be clear which one to send it to. But either way, I'll get the message. Um, and that those messages will be used to ask specific questions about your grade, specific questions about the course that you want to ask, homework questions, things like that. Keep in mind that these this forums page is really, really helpful. Let's say it says homework question forum module one. Let's say you have a question in module one and you want to get some opinions, whether it be from me or when you're classmates or whatever. Um, since it's an online class, this is something you should be visiting every week. Um, add new thread, you know, problem one on OLI, blah, 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 blah. And you can click in the message and, you know, how do I, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and be as specific as possible. And everyone can see your question and everyone else who knows how to answer it or thinks they know how to answer it is certainly welcome to go on there and just give your opinion. Uh, these forums are going to be a good way to, to communicate uh, because we won't, won't be meeting in the classroom. So please use these um, when you have questions on homework, questions on the project, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, let's see, anything else big? Um, just make sure you read that syllabus and try to keep up with everything. I think if you keep up with everything and you don't get behind, um, you can you can do okay. Uh, those that fail or get a lower grade than they want tend to be the people that. Um, get behind, they, they procrastinate, they don't get it done, they don't work hard, etc., etc. So just don't be one of those people.